got some pros about it and I got a lot of cons about it. So make sure y'all stay tuned. It even got the roof in it, y'all. Seven axle over here. Start, y'all. Start right up. Blowing all kind of smoke, y'all. Look. This should start. Two halfway decent looking 379s in here. 67 is a good price, y'all. So they got box trucks on here, y'all. My box truck guys. 5,000. Them trucks selling for cheap. What's going on, fam? It's your boy Al. Y'all tune back in with them Jennings boys, man. And we're back with another video for y'all. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing. Put that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell, man. Like this video. And we're going to keep running these numbers on up, man. We done made it up here to Richie Brothers. We at the Richie Brothers auction. Figured I'd bring y'all up here, man. There's a few trucks up here I wanted to see myself. Look at all these yellow trucks. I don't know if y'all remember that business that, that big trucking company that went out of business last year yellow and put all those people out a bit uh out of jobs and out of their pensions and stuff they got a lot of their trucks up here box trucks they got a lot of trailers up here all kind of stuff y'all but yeah i figured i'd bring y'all up here had a lot of y'all ask me about buying trucks from uh truck and equipment auctions and uh I got some pros about it, and I got a lot of cons about it. So make sure y'all stay tuned. We're we'll gonna see what all they got out here. Where the hell? I got lost with all these yellow trucks. Got a nice W9 Kenworth right here. Look like a heavy hauler truck. It's uh, it's got a pusher axle on it. Inside, look like it's a 2000 and. Uh, 2005 or 2006 it's extended cab too y'all it's for all y'all kenworth lovers i wonder what this gonna go for man how many miles it got on it i don't like it's gonna start up i wonder what kind of motor it got it sounds like an 18 speed start right up It even got the roof in it, y'all. I ain't never seen no somebody with the sunroof. I ain't gonna lie. That's a first for me, y'all. And I done been in a lot of trucks. I ain't never seen one that had the roof in it like this. Not a day cab. That's crazy. Kenworth is the nicest truck. I guess that's why y'all love these Kenworths. Yeah, that's for heavy hauling right there. Pusher actually. We got a seven axle over here. Smooth side bed, seven axle. I wonder if it got a it got a pack car in it, y'all. It ain't no good. Uh so that don't quite mean it has a pack car in it. Let's see. 
what year is this one? This is a 2015 or 2016. One or two. 2015 and 2016. Seven axle. How many miles it got? 426,000 miles. So seven axles are good for hauling gravel. If you're going to be hauling gravel to job sites, you can make some money with a six axle, y'all. Not a six axle, a seven axle. That's all he's good for right here. Sound good. Start it right up. And it's automatic, y'all. As you can see. Automatic truck. All you new truckers that's coming becoming owner operators and want to start y'all a trucking business. It's best y'all get y'all out of buy y'all automatic trucks. A lot of these drivers. A lot of these drivers come out of school, man. All they know how to drive is automatic, man. They got the automatic restriction. They ain't really teaching these guys uh, manuals anymore. So, if you want to be able to get a driver easy, you want to be able to, you want to buy you some automatic trucks. Just like I said, only the older, older guys with experience really know how to drive them. Ten speeds, eight speeds, and all that stuff. I wonder what motor. I don't feel like popping this hood right now. I'm trying to get inside. Oil popping for y'all. Another dump truck right there. That one leaking up uh, fluid. All right, y'all. So I popped the hood, and this most definitely does look like a pack car motor. I know the Kenworths and stuff have, and Peterbilt's have pack car parts, but this one actually does look like a pack car motor. And I've heard nothing but bad things about that motor. So I definitely would not buy this one. Suspension looks good on it. You gotta watch a lot of these trucks out here though, cause ah. a lot of the trucks that actually got the pack car more because they harder to sell because nobody wants them. So that's why they send them to the auction. That's probably why this thing is at the auction. It's got an east bed on here. Seven axle look pretty good. Let's see what else they got out here, y'all. Got this triaxle. It's old Kenworth. This truck look built. Most of the time you can tell if a truck is built, you can go look at the suspension. If it got airbags in the back on a dump truck, then it was most likely a built dump truck. See, I don't like buying trucks that sit on bags. Triaxle ain't so bad, but any of the bigger trucks, man, you don't want it to be sitting on bags. You want a real heavy-duty suspension on there. Them bags that make the truck sway. All kind of crazy stuff. You go to dump the truck, what kind of motor in here, I can't see. Dump the truck here. You'll be leaning with that weight on there. Yeah, this used to be a day cab or a sleeper. I used to be a sleeper. Look how it's cut out right there. Like, like it's cut out and they put that in there. It's most definitely like it used to be a sleeper. Let's see if this thing can start, y'all. This is an older truck, too. What year is this truck? This thing will start y'all. Start right up. Oh, she blowing all kind of smoke, y'all. Look. Oh, she running rough. She's been sitting for a while. She smoothed out now. She blew a big dust, a big, big thing of smoke. Definitely ain't right with this thing. I definitely wouldn't fool with this truck. I try to stay away from the put together trucks, y'all. Cause when you go to when stuff break on them, you don't know who put it together, how it was put together. Trying to get parts for it can be a headache because you don't really know the actual true truck it is or true bed it is. So I try to stay away from stuff like that. Let's head over here find the rest of the dump truck that's what I can't look at y'all dump trucks so let's find the rest of the dump trucks so they got all kind of trucks in here y'all flatbeds they got buses school buses in here oh ambulances they got equipment down over there excavators backhoes they got 
these big water tank trucks. They got tree trucks over there. Any kind of equipment you could think of, they're gonna have here at Richie Brothers. Day cabs, sleepers, dump trucks. They got service trucks. Everything, y'all. I only really seen one truck that I was slightly interested in. Yeah, I seen one truck I was slightly interested in. It's a Mac. It's an old Mac RD E7 motor. And so let's see if we can hunt this thing down, y'all. All the dump trucks is usually back over here. They got all type of service trucks. Got this rock slinger right here. It's an old Volvo auto car. There go this Mac right here I was looking for. All right, y'all. Here go the Mac I was looking for. It's a tandem. Old Mac RD tandem. See what the frame look like. Don't look that bad. Bed don't look that bad. The suspension on here look like. It's got the camelback suspension, that's a good thing. Let's see if this thing will start up, y'all. Like I said, it got that Mac E7 motor in it. Oh! What the interior? Interior is pretty much intact still. Everything looks like it's still here. All the buttons could use cleaned out for sure. Hopefully this thing ain't dead. We can hear it run. There we go. That's the sound we want to hear, y'all. Let's figure out this thing sound. Start right up. We got to air it up, got the bed up in the air. This thing don't sound half bad. Don't look half bad either. Frame all look good. It's look a little rusty, but it's an old truck. It's going to be sandblasted down and painted. Frame under the cab look good. Small bed, aren't y'all? Like the bed, just a little bit too small. But ain't that small. Damn. We're gonna check the fluids on here, y'all. But we ain't gonna waste too much time on this truck. We're gonna see what else they all. I wish I had this bed right here, brand new on here. This Bebo bed. Let's see what the motor looked like on this thing. Oh, it looked like on this thing. Black. Oil is black. See, depending on the price this go for, this would be a good truck for somebody to learn in. So I checked the fluids on that one. That one low on coolant. Oil don't look bad, it's super black. This one got a Detroit 60 series in it right here. It's Freightliner right here. I wonder what year this is. Let's see what the oil look like on this one. Puppy right here. Oil don't look bad on that either. Oil look pretty. Oil look pretty clean on that one. It's a 
another tandem. Columbia, last six of in. I mean, the VIN done got rubbed off. I can't even tell y'all what year this is then. This truck looks like, you don't too much see Columbia dump trucks. I'm gonna check and see if this one was originally a dump truck or if this one was built too. This one pretty clean though. Shelly number? I mean, that was here in Columbus somewhere. This one was here in Columbus somewhere. What's your start? Start. I don't know if she's gonna start, child. She got fuel in her. It's a no go, y'all. See, a lot of this stuff at these auctions, man, it just be people be sending it here because they got issues with the truck that they don't want to deal with fixing. It's usually a major issue while the truck is here. Sometimes you can't tell till you already bought it too. And everything here, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's as is too, which sucks. And ain't no really no test drives here or nothing. So that's why I tell everybody don't don't. I wouldn't advise people to come here to buy no truck personally. But let's see what else they got up here, y'all, before they close. Oh yeah, this is an old right truck. I know if he's selling it in here, it's definitely probably something going on with it. They got more sleepers than anything in here, y'all. Here go some of them city trucks. These only single axles. I would never buy no single axles. You can't get nothing on there. Can't get anything on a single axle, y'all. That's the most city trucks. Got a bunch of sleepers up here. Now, some of these sleepers might be good to go because a lot of companies bring they. A lot of the larger companies, when they upgrade their fleet, instead of having to sell a bunch of trucks, they just send them all here to the auction. That one looked dirty. That's a short nose. Sleepers. Dang, let's see if this one start up, y'all. It's an automatic truck. Starts up. Some of the trucks be sound like they're good to go. Some of these trucks sound like they're good to go. Some of them don't even start. I don't think they got any ski steers over here like they usually do. So they definitely threw this truck in here. Old sleeper truck. It got all Mitch Match tires. It's got a wet kit on here too. So it either had a dump bed or some kind of special trailer it was hauling door doesn't open this is the truck you don't bid on it's probably gonna go for a little bit of nothing they only got a few skid steers over here this time that's what i need at the shop a skid steer something i can move material around with and move pick up heavy objects they got that on the showcase right there some kind of excavator we at the Columbus Ohio uh, Richie Brothers auction man right here off Interstate 70 west of Columbus Ohio Let's see what else they got up here y'all as I can see like I said they got all kind of got lifts any kind of equipment you want see some of this equipment might be hard just to sell on your own so they bring it here to the auction where it's easier to sell so equipment wise you might be well, I don't know a lot of these trucks though like the company done sent both of them trucks them two trucks the same color pattern so I'm from the same company I don't even know what that is it look like a motherfucker no limit tank right there a the tank crane that's some kind of crane Two halfway decent looking 379s in here. Wonder what motors they got. It's 
white and blue one look better than that uh, red one. Let's check this white and blue one out. Uh, this one is a uh, 2014 or 2015, so that's a newer truck. So it's got emissions on it. This one's definitely probably got a pack car in it. Yeah, you got the screen. Let's see if this thing can start up right here, y'all. She beeping. And this guy looks like it got a 13 speed in it. Ah, uh, she dead, y'all. Unless you gotta push the clutch in. Nah, she dead, y'all. Alright. Gotta be risky buying this. This pretty truck right here should be easy to sell. Should be easy to sell. So why is it here at the auction? And you can't start it as dead, probably because there's something wrong with it, y'all. That's why I tell you, I don't, don't always look for the, for the prettiest truck. Especially if it's your first truck, man. Make sure it's a good truck. If it's a pretty truck, make sure it's a good running truck, too. They got a whole line up of excavators in here, y'all. And front end loaders. eight right here that'll move some earth around right there that big d8 d7 I think the higher the number the bigger it is that's a d8 this is a d7 that's a d7 and what do you know they got more yellow trailers I've been seeing these yellow trailers everywhere they was even at the they had a bunch of the trucks up at the we got that motor at in Ken. I think yellow and is yellow and hauling the same thing. Might be. Some of these trailers are probably in good condition. It's not like they selling these. They selling these because they went out of business, not because they was bad. Look, there's a bunch of them in here. Oh, rows on rows on rows of yellow trailers. Seen that for sale online. Taking that over there. I want to see that. That just got here last minute, y'all. Bed too big. When got forklifts over here. Oh, gang of them. They got a bunch of yellow trucks over here, too, y'all. A bunch of yellow day cabs. At least, it's probably at least a hundred of them yellow day cabs over there you could definitely probably find a good deal on a day cab find a good day cab out of all them day cabs and there's so much so many of them i'm sure they're going for a reasonable price i actually don't even think they have a uh, reserve all right man we made it back to the shop man um, I wish I'd had more time at the auction to show y'all more equipment, man. They had, man, over like 10,000 units, different everything in there. Trucks, trailers, equipment, all kinds of stuff, y'all. I just didn't get there early enough, man. Be having a whole lot on my plate every day, so I tried my best to make it up there. It's like a 45 minute to an hour drive to get there, so. Back here in the shop, um actually got the auction pulled up for y'all so we can look and see what these trucks gonna go for and see if we want to bid on anything i already uh won me a power washer on here uh, my last power washer took a took a dump it died on me last year so they had some power washers on here so i went ahead and took advantage of that got me a nice power washer i spent about eighteen hundred dollars on it i looked it up online it was like forty five hundred brand new so hopefully that one turns out good um and yeah we're gonna show y'all what some of these units going for let's get the sound going there we go. So now we get into the trucks. As you can see, uh, what's that? A 2008 3500 went for $2,500. A 2012 
3500 went for 4000 F250 went for 3000 I got me I got me a service truck from here one time y'all and uh that thing with the transmission was messed up it was all tore up man that thing I ain't even get to go I went on like one service call with it and it was it was it was over with from there man I had issues with it kept breaking down um it was a 3500 it was a Chevy 3500 but it was an older one like a 2002 or 2003 it was an older one I ended up uh Dylan ended up buying it from me. He kept kept asking about it, asking about it. He ended up buying it from me. I think he had problems with it too. He ended up just taking the the, the bed. It had a good utility bed on there, a good bed on there with all the boxes and everything. That was the best thing about the truck. But yeah, he ended up taking it off my hands. But yeah, let's see what these trucks gonna go for. This is a spreader truck right here. So. Thirty-two is crazy. I didn't think this would go for that much. I just seen one of these go for last year. It wasn't a Volvo. It was a Sterling, but it went for fourteen thousand. So thirty-two thousand. Buyer number is seven six two six four. Great. Thirty-two thousand. Right, now we're down to five zero four. Five zero four right here on the Pete. What do you give? Yeah, I remember the Pete. It's the Pete that we was in when we first got there. Five axle dump. Here we go. What do you want to give here? It's definitely a seven here, axle. Tell me. Give a hundred thousand. At a hundred thousand, I'm gonna go one. They start at a hundred thousand, y'all. Hundred thousand. thousand. I'm gonna go one. And it does got the pack car, and I knew it had that pack car diesel motor in it. Now they down to fifty thousand. Now they down to twenty five. We got a twenty-five thousand dollar bid, y'all. What year is this truck? Sixteen. Better luck here. Here's a deal. This is this a hundred thousand, hundred. This a hundred and fifty thousand dollar truck, y'all. Let's we'll see what it go for, man. Let's stay tuned on here. Let's see what she go for. Oh, this gonna take. How many miles did this have on there? 400,000 miles? 426,000 miles? Automatic. See, this looks like a good truck, but you never know. It could have some issues with it without being able to test drive it and, and haul a load with it. When you buy a dump truck, man, you gotta, hey, you don't really know what the truck gonna do until you. You don't really know what it's going to do to the to you haul a, haul a load with that thing, put that weight on there. 65, real, now 67, real. 5, and a 67, 5, 67, 5, guys, I got to go, six, now 70, and a 70, they up to 70 now, y'all. On the pedal here, 70,000, and now 70,000, and a 67, 5, now 70, 70,000, and I'm going to go 70, 70, 70, guys, we got to go here, now 70,000, and a 67, 5, now 70,000, and I'm going to go 70,000, and I'm going to go 70, are you all done, 70,000? 67 is a good price, y'all. All right now, guys. For a seven axle is crazy. It's got that pack car in it, man. The pack car is scary. Hey, boy, I didn't even see this one there. This look like what's the name's old truck. This one got a pack car in it too. Is it automatic? This one is a uh, no. This one manual. 8 LL. It's a Kenworth though. T8. And Kenworths and Pete Peterbilts always go for the highest highest prices, especially the older model looking ones. That's about what them trucks going for with that pack car motor in there. Sold 52.5, and the buyer number is 51459. All right, down to lot number 507. 507 right here. Get a look at her here. What do you want to get? we seen dude driving this one, y'all. It's W9. What this got in a C15? Okay. 
You put a new bed on this truck here, this would be a badass truck. Wonder if there's something wrong with it. Eighteen speed. See, this a W nine, y'all. This one. He's hard to find. Especially quiet. So hey, if there ain't nothing wrong with that truck, man, that's a damn good price. I don't like the bed on there, but remember seeing this Mac too, y'all. I was parked across from that red Mac that we was looking at. It's crazy. The stuff you think that's gonna go for high going for low, and the stuff that's going that you think gonna go for low is going for high. That's why I hate the auction, y'all. As soon as you think you're gonna get something, you get outbid it. What motor got MP7? That ain't bad. That's a good price, y'all. If the truck ain't messed up, that's the whole thing. You're taking a risk when you buy something from here. It's all a gamble, y'all. I mean, you taking a gamble if you buy any truck, but at least you could test drive a truck you was buying on the road, on the street, on the market. It's an old city. Got that C13. This ain't worth nothing either, but, and it's a Sterling. How many miles? It's got 505. I almost guarantee you this one got some kind of motor issues. There we go. It's going to sell for 19. Now there we go. 20. Out of Florida. So, 20,000. All right. Now we're going down here to lot five. Remember this one, y'all. Right I got it. I'm like, man, something ain't right with this. this so Kenworth. Tell me, twenty, twenty thousand. Somebody done put this together and stuck it in here. This one used to be a, a, a sleeper truck, too, or a day cab. They built that truck. It's going to go for 15. So for fifteen. Hey, that ain't bad. Hey, your first truck. But it was something wrong with that truck, y'all. Sound good. Fifteen thousand, you in the game. Hey, fifteen thousand, you in the game, y'all. I'm telling you, man, making damn near a thousand a day with that track. So is 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 some bread. You are gonna make your fifteen thousand back quick if that truck was good, though. If you ain't have to put no money, you might have to put twenty thousand in that truck. Even a truck for forty thousand is, is 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 a nice price to start at when you're gonna make the money back in one year. You're gonna make your money back in one year, y'all. Telling y'all, man, I need to get tapped in on this truck and get man, just wait. I need to tap in when we get tapped in. Great Niner Cascade. It's got a DD13 in it. Sold 17,000, buyer number is 38585. All right, now we're down here to lot 
Lot number 511, 511 right here. What do you want to bid? Get in there, tell me. 10, 10,000. And a 10 now, 10, would you go? 10,000, and I'm going to get 10, would you bid? 10,000, and I'm going to get 10 now, 5,000, and I'm going to get 5,000, and I'm going to get 5,000, and I'm going to get 75, and I'm going to put them in the same city trucks, y'all. 75 now, 10, 10,000. Some trucks Pops be talking about, man. Get you a city truck, automatic. It's automatic, too. We got a C13 in it, though. I don't Forty-two-five. Forty-two. Last one sold for ninety-five hundred. How this one go up to forty-two-five? City truck with the plow. Ain't no, that didn't go up north. Ain't no snow coming back around here. I want to see what this Freightliner go for, y'all. Remember, the Freightliner wouldn't start up for us. Sold 10 5 and the buyer number is 76240. Lot number 514. 514. This was right next to the Mac, y'all. Here we go. 30, 30,000. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 
I would. I would call them back and ask them who do my who, who do my ter- attorney need to get in touch with and, and just see what they say. Cause. Uh, I had to try to look. I had to try to look some look some shit up. But that 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 sounds like some bull crap. Right. When she did, you have your insurance on oh, when they when they hit your shit. Did you ever call your insurance? 519, 519 right here. What do you say here? Here we go now. 10, 10,000. And a 10 put them in a 10,000. And a 10,000. Ah, you done had a full coverage. On either one of them. And I'll say 75 now. Get them in a 75. 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 You don't know what you buying. I, I done sold a truck here at the Richie Brothers Auction, too. One of my uh, six, axle, six axle dump trucks. Um, the camshaft went out of in it, and I didn't feel like fooling with it no more because it needed so much different other cosmetics stuff on it. I really didn't feel like fixing everything on it. So I just sent it to the auction and sold it. So it still ran and everything, but the camshaft was messed up. It didn't really have no power. So I think that thing went for like 14000 15, 14, 15000 something like that. But yeah, stay tuned, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna bring y'all a little clip of some uh, sleeper trucks. All right, fam, back on here. Uh, got on here a little late. I had totally forgot about it. But man, they got some boy trucks going for some deals on here, y'all. Uh, let's go scroll back up to closer to the top. Some stuff that already. Dang. They slowly uh, making the old stuff disappear. Man, they had some uh, day caps on here going for five thousand. They was two, 2015 Cascadias, man. All the Cascadias was going for. I seen one go for five thousand. One for go for seventy five hundred. One go for six thousand. One go for eight thousand. I seen one go for fifty five hundred. Y'all, they had like around eight hundred thousand miles on them. Some of them had like six seven hundred thousand miles on them. They all had the DD uh, thirteen Detroit in them. They was all them old yellow trucks.
We could start a whole fleet with them numbers. I don't know what was wrong with the trucks. When we was there, I ran out of time. I didn't get to look at the trucks, y'all. It got me salty because I would have bought a couple of them day cabs. I would have bought a couple of them day cabs for sure. I would have got my money back out of those, even if I didn't use them. Could have bought those, turned them into tractor trailer dumps, put wet kits on them, cleaned them up, put wet kits on them, found some dump trailers. You know, that's how I got in the game was with uh, tractor trailer dumps. I didn't have straight trucks at first, straight uh, dump trucks at first. I had tractor trailer dumps. I was doing hauling gravel and, and, and doing uh, millings. But yeah, as you can see, man, they got some stuff on here. What's going next? So we got one minute left on this 2018 Kenworth. This got to have a Packard in it. All the trucks with Packards going for cheap because them Packards is junk. This is to show y'all how junk these Packards is. So this one going for, it's at 12000 right now, y'all. 2018. One minute left on here. It don't say, because if it's inoperable, if it don't run, it to say it on here. It don't say it's inoperable, so it run. I wonder what kind of issues it got. Stop engine immediately. Do not run or engine damage will occur. So there's something going on with this truck, y'all. That's why it's so cheap. What's these codes on here? Yeah, they got codes and all kind of stuff on here. That's why this one's so cheap, y'all. 30 seconds left. It's at 12,000. This one got 30 seconds left. It's at 17,000. I wonder if this one got anything wrong with it. Um, hold back button. This one don't say nothing crazy on the screen. Somebody bid it down with up to 15000 now. So once they once they bid, the time goes up a little higher. This one say going twice, going three times. It's about to be sold. 17000 Yep, sold. 17000 2018, Kenworth. Put a picture for y'all. Uh, T680. If you know how to fix these trucks, man, you can make you can make some money at these auctions. They go a 2020 Peterbilt, 22,000. See, they all got that Packard motor in it, y'all. Packard. Stay away from this motor, y'all. Any of y'all buying trucks, dump trucks, or sleeper trucks, man, stay away from this motor. I've heard nothing but bad things about it. Packard, look. That's why these trucks is here for so cheap. This one at 43,000. 2021, they got a Detroit D15. Look, this one got a Detroit in it. It didn't sold for 85,000 because it don't got that pack car in it. It's crazy. This one right here, Detroit 2021, 34,000. Got 573,000 miles on it, y'all. This one sold for 31,000. It's a 2021, 589 on the miles. Got a Detroit in it. Here goes another 21 right here. This one got 650 on. They got a Detroit in it too. Or does it have a Detroit? For some reason, this one don't list the motor. But this one is at 24,000. It's got to have a Detroit. They all got Detroits in them. This one got a Detroit in it too. It's a 2021. It only got 23,000. I wonder if there's something wrong with it, y'all. That just seemed cheap. I just seem too good to be true, y'all. Sometimes it don't be. Sometimes, most of the time, it do be too good to be true. That's why I tell anybody that's buying a truck, man, it's all a gamble, man. No matter what truck you buy, all these trucks is ticking time bombs. So any truck you buy is a gamble, man. You don't know what's going to happen to it, if it's going to run, how long it's going to last you before it blow up. You just never know. What that green one go for? That green one ended up going for 17000 This one's still going up to 16,000 now. Yeah, they got a bunch of trucks on here. So that's the timed auction. Let's see what the other auction going. What they got going on in the other auction. Let me escape that. Oh. 
Let's see here. Bring this up for y'all. Bit a little quicker. Seven forty-two, three five. So they got box trucks on here, y'all. My box truck guys. These pro stars. These jump too. Got that Max Force in there. Uh, kind of motors these got coming. Yeah, all got Cummins. Yeah, these all got Cummins. ISBs in them. 309,000. You know, 300 some thousand on a box truck be kind of high because these motors be small. How many more do you want there, Texas? We got 43, 45, and 46. Anybody else, guys? First number to 7,000 is what we're going for. 7,000. We got choice of three. Anybody else quickly? Hey, let's go down to your soul. Buyer number 12883 takes uh, 745 as well. Thank you, Texas. And soul. Buyer number 13549 takes 743. We got one left, gentlemen, 746. Who wants it? Soul. Buyer 82288. They all went for 7,000, y'all. All right, we got choice Box of six trucks. again. Lot number 747 on down to lot number 753. Let's go again, guys. And down here to go. Yes. Let's see what you this next. Go down to, you can go, go all the way down to 57. That's fine. You bet. And let's go down here, gentlemen, down here. Let's go again. Who got 10,000 bid? Ding, 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 ding. See what this batch go for, y'all. It's pretty much the only, only thing left on here is box trucks. A whole bunch of box trucks, U haul trucks. We got some roll off trucks on here, too. 8,000. I think he's going to go for 8,000. So they're probably going to all go for 8,000. Y'all watch. 754. We got here. Who else wants one? 8,000 guys. These all got Cummins. The ISB2 Cummins in them. These only got 200,000 miles on them. 8,000. Hey, let's go down here, go again, five. Hey, oh, so one one, one for 8,000. They're going to try to get something for cheaper. Watch. They're going to do, y'all. Back up to 7,000. If they go back up to eight again. That was dumb. They should just bottom for eight. Eight thousand again. Yeah, might as well go ahead and buy them for eight thousand. Fifty is gone. All right, guys, we got the money there. Eight thousand. Who else wants one choice of eight? Anybody else quickly? Eight thousand. Choice of eight of them. Anybody else? Eight thousand sold by number one three five four nine. Takes one number 753 is gone. 753 for 8,000. Quickly, guys, who else? Anybody else quickly? There's seven left here. 8,000 is money. Quickly, say 8,000. Let's go again. Who got five? They trying to get them for cheaper, y'all. Then five here, guys. Let's go here. Ding five, six. Eight five eight. Ding six. Ding five here. Ding six. Ding seven. They want to get them for cheaper, y'all. Sixty five hundred. Ding six down here. Ding five here. Ding five seven down two. Ding seven. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. Ding seven down here. Ding five here. Ding five seven down two. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. They used to be five here. Ding seven down two. Ding five hundred. We got three left guys. That one went for twelve thousand. Seventy-five hundred. First number you're gonna have. Seventy-five hundred. Fourteen thousand. Last three there actually. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Seventy-five hundred. Anybody else quickly? Seventy-five. So yeah, I'll see what the box trucks going on. I ain't a box truck fan, so yeah, I ain't too pressed to see any more of those. Um, what else they got here? Bunch of stuff going on, y'all. So y'all basically see how this Richie Brothers auction go, man. Anybody can sign up to it. Any of y'all can go sign up and be at that Richie Brothers, man, and, and, and see what I'm seeing right now and, and go out there and 
check out the equipment and test it out. Um, you can't test drive, but you can start it up and move it, pull it up, back it up, and, and you can try to get off of driving it through the lot. Most of the time, they come and stop you from, from doing too much. You know I me, mean? I do too much when I'm spending my money. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do when you're spending your hard-earned cash. You feel me? But me, myself, I'm, I'm not really too fond of really buying stuff from Richie Brothers. Um... I done bought a few things from here and had issues with it. Everything I never bought from here had an issue with it. Like, it was being there to be sold for some reason. And like I told y'all before, I sold a truck that was, uh, I was having issues with it. I just didn't feel like trying to even do anything with it. I just wanted to get rid of it, so I sent it to Richie Brothers. And you need a camshaft. It's sold. So, yeah, you can uh, take the risk if you want to uh, fooling with Richie Brothers. It's all up to you, man. But make sure y'all actually going. And y'all ain't just uh, bidding, uh, bidding uh, off-site unseen. Make sure y'all going on-site and checking this equipment out. Because uh, y'all can see when we was there, some of the trucks didn't start. Some of the trucks you start them, they got buzzards going off and all kind of crazy stuff that you can't see on the internet. So, yeah, we're going to uh, probably wrap this video up here, y'all. Uh, make sure y'all go like this video. Go subscribe if you ain't already subscribed. I'm going to keep bringing y'all this free game man this this free trucking content so make sure y'all stay tuned go subscribe at that post notification bell and we're gonna keep rocking y'all um up here at the shop uh i'm about to get some stuff done man get some stuff done and i'm about to keep looking for trucks for sale man i'm about to get on here get on truck paper and uh i done bought a lot of trucks off truck paper y'all facebook market i done bought a lot of stuff off facebook market uh you know, a lot of trucks I just found off word of mouth, you know what I'm saying? Just finding people that are selling trucks and catching trucks before they get listed for sale. That's always the best. It's finding somebody that's interested in selling a truck and, and just buying it from them, especially if somebody you know and you got the history on the truck. You know what's done, been done to the truck. That's another thing with buying these trucks, man. You Most of these trucks you buy, you don't know none of the history. So you you, you just guessing and you get the truck. You don't know what's need. You, you got to figure out what need fixed, what need replaced. You ain't got no no maintenance records on it. You don't know nothing about the truck. So, yeah, that's another thing about buying these trucks, especially these trucks from the auction. You don't know where they came from, what's going on with them. I usually try to always get in them or look on the window, look on the door, see who owned it before, if it was a big fleet, if it was a small fleet, what city and state it was from. Was it from a northern state where they got a lot of salt and, and, and bad weather where, you, where, the, where the truck going to probably be rusted out or rust out quick and, just all kind of different factors, you know what I'm saying? You got to look into everything when you're buying this equipment. Because like I said, it's all a gamble, y'all. But, hey, good luck to any of y'all that's looking to buy equipment right now. Um, if y'all got any questions, go in the comments, man. Blow the comments up. Uh, go like this video. And, yeah, we're going to keep running these numbers on up.